next topic is horizontal tube evaporator you can see the figure at the right bottom side very good looking equipment am i right we are going to discuss the principal construction working advantage uses of horizontal tube evaporator before that i give you a brief introduction about this apparatus it consists of large cylindrical body with conical or dome shaped top and bottom it contain a steam compartment feed inlet vapor outlet concentrated product outlet these are the important parts of horizontal tube evaporator let's see what's the principle behind horizontal tube evaporator here you can see the steam compartment so steam is introduced through the steam inlet into the steam compartment the steam compartment contains several horizontal tubes so steam is passed through this horizontal tubes actually this horizontal tubes are immersed in the liquid immersed in the liquid to be evaporated so steam is passed through this horizontal tubes then heat from the steam absorb this liquid by conduction convection mechanism horizontal tubes transfer uh, heat from the steam into the uh, liquid which is present outside the tube so conduction and convection is the heat transfer mechanism by conduction and convection mechanism horizontal tubes transfer heat from the steam into the liquid which is present in the evaporator so steam is condensed and the condensate is removed through this condensate outlet the liquid which is present inside the evaporator absorb heat from the steam and then it undergo vaporization this vapor pass through the vapor outlet and this process will continue until a concentrated thick residue will remain in the evaporator so that residue we can collect through this concentrated product outlet so this is the working principle of horizontal tube evaporator now let's discuss the construction part in detail as i already said that the horizontal tube evaporator consists of a large cylindrical body with conical or dome shaped top and bottom cast iron or stainless steel plates are mainly used for the construction of this type of evaporators the body of the horizontal tube evaporator is having 1.82 to 2.4 meter diameter okay the body of the horizontal tube evaporator is having 1.82 to 2.4 meter diameter and 2.4 to 3.6 meter height is it clear horizontal tube evaporator consists of a large cylindrical body with conical or dome shaped top and bottom cast iron or stainless steel plates are used for the construction of this type of evaporators and the average size of the body okay the body is having about 1.8 to 2.4 meter diameter and 2.4 to 3.6 meter height and the steam compartment contain a steam inlet okay at one side a steam inlet is present and a vent is present on other side okay vent is actually for removing non condensed gas steam compartment contain a steam inlet at one side and the other side a vent is present this vent is mainly for removing non condensed gas a condensate outlet is present in the steam compartment this is mainly for removing the condensate from the horizontal tubes or steam compartment condensate outlet is mainly for removing the condensed steam from the steam compartment and it also contain 6 to 8 6 to 8 stainless steel horizontal tubes okay our steam compartment contain 6 to 8 horizontal tubes 
six to eight stainless steel horizontal tubes are arranged in the steam compartment. Actually, these tubes are about twenty-five millimeter protruded beyond the tube sheet. Okay, about twenty-five, about twenty-five millimeter, about twenty-five millimeter protruded beyond the tube sheet on both end. Okay, these tube sheets are protruded about twenty-five millimeter beyond the tube sheet at both ends. The width of the steam compartment. The width of the steam compartment is usually half the width of the body. Okay, the width of the steam compartment is usually half the diameter of the body. And here you can see a feed inlet and a vapor outlet. So these are the important parts of horizontal tube evaporator. I repeat. The horizontal tube evaporator consists of a large cylindrical body with conical or dome-shaped top and bottom. Is it clear? Horizontal tube evaporator consists of a large cylindrical body with conical dome or dome-shaped top and bottom. Cast iron or stainless steel plates are mainly used for the construction of horizontal tube evaporator. The body is having about one point eight to two point four meter diameter and two point four to three point six meter height. Okay, the steam compartment contain a steam inlet, vent for removing non condensed gas, and a condensate outlet for removing condensed steam. It also contain six to eight stainless steel horizontal tubes. Actually, these tubes protrude about twenty-five millimeter. Actually, these tubes protrude about twenty-five millimeter beyond the tube sheet on both end. These tubes are protrude about twenty-five millimeter beyond the tube sheet on both ends. The width of the steam compartment. The width of the steam compartment is actually half the diameter of the body. Okay, the width of the steam compartment is usually half the diameter of the body, and this apparatus also contain feed inlet. The feed inlet is present above the steam compartment, and a vapor outlet present above the steam compartment. Vapor outlet present at the top of the dome. Concentrated liquid we can collect at the bottom. So these are the important parts that is present in the horizontal tube evaporator. Now let's see the working of horizontal tube evaporator. Okay, first of all, feed is introduced through the feed inlet. Feed is introduced through the feed inlet into the evaporator until the steam compartment is immersed. Next, steam is introduced through the steam inlet. Okay, steam is introduced through the steam inlet into the steam compartment. The horizontal tubes, the horizontal tubes receive steam. Horizontal horizontal tubes receive heat from the steam and it conduct heat to the material. Okay, it conduct heat to the liquid which is present in the evaporator. Steam condensate and it passes through the condensate outlet. Steam condensed and the condensed steam passes through the condensate outlet. The liquid feed, which absorb heat, and the solvent present in the liquid feed starts to evaporate. Okay, the liquid feed absorb heat from the steam, and the solvent present in the liquid feed. Uh, starts to evaporate. The vapor escape through the vapor outlet, and finally we get a concentrated product at the bottom of the evaporator. So this is the working of uh, horizontal tube evaporator. 
Horizontal tube evaporators mainly used for the evaporation of non-viscous solutions because non-viscous solutions do not uh, form scale or deposit on the evaporating pan. Because of that, horizontal tube evaporator is mainly used for handling non-viscous solutions. For example, cascara extract. The main advantage is that the cost per square meter of heating surface is less as compared to other evaporators. So, these are the important things regarding horizontal tube evaporator.